we're about 3,000 miles from where we last fished. We are on one of my favorite fisheries ever in the entire world. We're on the California Delta, and I am extra excited because we've got four rods, one of which has a frog tied on. My absolute, hands down, favorite way to catch fish, topwater frog. I have no clue what these fish are doing, how I'm gonna catch them. Packing relatively light today. If I were to pick four rods to bring with me this time of year, summer on the Delta, it would definitely be a frog. We've got a rage menace, a chatterbait, and then we've got a drop shot. I can hardly wait right now. I'm gonna just shut up. We're gonna go fishing today. No agenda, just gonna see what works. I'm hoping we can catch them on the frog, but you never know. Delta can be amazing and delts can also hurt your feelings at times. But either way, we're gonna start slinging that frog and hopefully have a fun day. Oh man, it feels good to have a frog in hand. So we're gonna start out with a half ounce Booyah Pad Crasher. This is in the albino color. First thing we're gonna do, I mean, there's not a lot of emergent or floating grass, you know? And that's typically where I like to fish a frog, but there's not a lot of that right now. It's still early on in the summer. So right now what we're probably gonna do is and something that I had a lot of success with last year is target shade pockets under these trees. It's gonna require some pinpoint casts and that's kind of the advantage of fishing out of kayak right now because we're lower to the water. Let's just get started. I don't want to jinx it, but I know my first bite on the frog. My first hook set's just going to be an absolute disaster. <sighs> I've got to try one thing here, actually. Not a sniff on the frog. I just want to see if I'm fishing over fish, to be honest. How oh, is there not a fish there? There's got to be a fish here. Willing to take a frog. are around you can hear them just don't know if they're on the menu yet delta can be tricky the bite window can be super small and specific depending on the tide and i don't know it's something i'm still trying to figure out <sighs> just not happening not a single bite on the frog throwing the chatterbait a little bit and i'll admit it we threw the drop shot as well I don't know, I gotta change something. I'm gonna go with old black and yellow. Not a lot of floating grass though right now. I mean, again, shade pockets under trees, was, those were the targets, but I'm, I am seeing some grass on top up there, so maybe that's where the fish are. I don't know. All right, black and yellow. Let's see if that makes any kind of difference. Finally got some grass over here. This is the go-to frog when they're fishing on top of grass. Just, again, it's a bigger profile. It just pushes that grass down a little bit better. There's fish jumping, but I'm pretty sure those are carp over there. Oh my God. Oh my God, that, really, that fish really wants that frog. <laughs> it's not a big one. It's a frogfish. That's an aggressive fish. We're gonna catch that one. He just bit my line. <laughs> that was a hungry fish. A very hungry fish. <laughs> Ten incher. Alright. Finally. Been like two hours. First bite on the frog. Haven't caught a frogfish in a long time. Man, that feels good. They're gonna be missing it like that. We gotta give ourselves every advantage we can. Keepity fish sticks on the frog, so in case they get a taste, they'll know it's something delicious. I mean, look at that. Yummy.
I looked away. I didn't see what that was. I'm sure the camera picked it up, though. It had to have been a carpet. Oh, yeah, there's a million carp back here. Dang. Look like a bass. That was the weirdest topwater bite. I'm confused. It, from like the corner of my eye, it looked like a catfish. Maybe it was a bass. The first bite, it, like, I don't know, it didn't look normal out of the corner of my eye. You know, it like just kind of popped its head up. Well, I guess she was a bass. Alrighty, fish number two. And I'll be honest with you, that took a lot longer than I was hoping. Five minutes changing over to a rage menace as much as I want the frog bite to be on I don't know if they're super happy about coming up and eating something on the surface might have to go down to them with the bait chatterbait. All right guys, this is the definition of a junk fishing type day. Look at the tide moving. This is crazy. Even with a Torquedo right now, I'm only going two miles an hour and I'm glad to have it too. It would be very difficult to pedal through this, this current. I mean, it's ripping pretty good right now. I think we're gonna make our way back towards the ramp. This is uh, challenging to fish in current this, this strong. Never been in current this strong in the Delta. Except maybe one other time at Frank's track, but we'll, we'll be able to push pretty fast with this tide going with us. <laughs> we're hitting 6.2 miles an hour right now. <laughs> I feel like I'm in a boat right now. I'm hitting 6.7 right now. Oh my goodness. Almost feels dangerous. It is 93 degrees right now, and it's going to apparently hit 98. Tough day, tough, tough day. California, it was not a warm welcome heck to California fishing. The Delta, and I've known this, it's, for a kayak especially, it's one of the best fisheries and one of the toughest fisheries at the same time. But the Delta is just so big, so expansive, and the advantage of having the big boat, especially on the Delta, is if an area is not on, you can go to a totally different part of the Delta, and it'll be a, it'll be just different, a different bite. And this was not the place today. This was not the place. But we didn't get the skunk. We caught a few fish, really just junk fishing. And hey, we did catch a couple on the frog, so that's always cool. As I always stress, I will show you every fishing trip that I take because some are great and some are not so great and today was one of the not so great days. I tried to figure them out, tried to make some stuff work and it just, you know, it just didn't happen but that's how fishing goes. So as always, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you later.